Good evening, everybody. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how Good are evening. you? Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Good to see you Good once evening. again. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Let's get started. I'm going to call attendance now. Just give me a second and I'll have that done. Okay. So uh, when you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Uh, Braulio Heriberto Velasquez. Braulio Heriberto Velasquez. Carlos uh, Alberto Martinez Alvarado. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelí Areaza Flores. Doribel Arelí Areaza Flores. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Elí Antonio Sando, Sandoval Colindres. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Herbert Adán Miranda. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Me escuchan. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, teacher, si apago la cámara es porque hoy no alcancé a llegar a casa, así que estoy en el carro. Ok. Cuidado ahí al manejar. Ok, ok. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> ok. Uh, Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando. Um, present. Okay, thank you. Ah, eh, si le puede cambiar el nombre, por favor, porque aparece como familia Linares Sierra, para que no haya oh, confusión please. al momento de... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I can okay. change now. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. 
Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez. Ok, thank you. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. What's going on, teacher? Hello. Saúl, ok, thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. I am here. Thank you. I'm calling some names again. Uh, Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Doribel Arelí Arriaza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Ok. Doribel dice presente. Ok. Thank you. Eli dice presente. Ok. Thank you very much. Okay, let's begin. Everybody, take a good look at this. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio Modulo 3, and this is me, Van Doñan, at your service once again. And this is session 16. Okay, today is June the 16th of 2023. This is the last session, and then we finish the level. So, what are we going to do? Well, it's uh, lesson objective 5.7. Again, we studied this before, but we're going to review it. By the end of this session, you will be able to, to take and give a message using tell and ask. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán, usted será capaz de tomar y dar un mensaje usando los verbos decir y pedir. So it's the grammar focus that we studied yesterday. We're going to have a review right now. Messages with tell and ask. So there's a statement. Take a look. The meeting is on Friday. So what about messages with a statement? Okay, the statement is just a piece of information that you provide. It's a piece of information that you give. So the statement is, the meeting is on Friday. So if you want to give a message transmitting this statement, then you say something like this. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. This is very direct. It's a direct favor. It's almost like a command. So please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. But if you want to be more polite and ask a question, you can say, could you tell her or could you tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday? That's a question. Or you can say, would you tell her or would you tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday? That's how you do it. Now, um, in this case, this is, there is a relative clause right here. And uh, the relative pronoun that is not absolutely necessary. So you can use it or not. You can say, please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday and it's okay. You can say, could you tell her the meeting is on Friday and it's good, no problem. And you can say, would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? No problem. So you can use that if you want, but if you don't want to use it, don't use it, okay? Not in this case. 
But what about requests? Okay, one thing is a statement, which is a piece of information, and another thing is the request. A request is something that you need. So you have, for example, call me this afternoon. This is a request. Okay, you're requesting something. Now, what about messages with a request? You can say, please ask him to call me this afternoon. Now, if you notice, there's a difference right here. When you have a statement, normally you use the verb tell, like the meeting is on Friday, please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. But when you have a request, una petición, okay, you have to use the verb ask, which means pedir, right? Preguntar o pedir. So please ask him to call me this afternoon. This is a request. You can also say, could you ask him to call me this afternoon? And finally, would you ask him to call me this afternoon? That's the idea. So when you have a message with a statement, you use the verb tell. When you have a message with a request, you use the verb ask. So that's very important right there. So what are we going to do right here? We're going to do the knowledge check. The instructions are, look at the following message slips, choose the best option. But instead of doing this, we're going to do it like, like, like this. We did this exercise yesterday. You had the opportunity to write your sentences, write your messages in this case, and, uh, but we didn't have the time to check them, okay? Because it was very late at night. So uh, it was kind of like homework. We're going to check that today. So I want you to take a look at that. Um, first, you have Joel. The movie is at seven. Now, this is a statement, not a request. It, this is a piece of information. So you have to use the verb tell using could. Could you tell Joe that the movie is at seven? What about the second one? Mitch, pick me up at home around four. Is this a statement or a request? Who knows? I want you to tell me. Number two, is this a statement or is it a request? Mm -hmm. Wendy. Request, teacher. It's a request. Okay, yeah, that is correct. It's a request. Therefore, you have to use the verb ask. Wendy, what do you have in number two? Would you, would you ask to pick me up? Perdón, perdón. Uh -huh. Would you ask Mitch pick me up at home around four? Okay. Okay, good. So would you ask Mitch? There's only one little mistake. One, one, one little thing. Falta una palabrita ahí de dos letras. So to, would you ask Mitch? Uh -huh. To pick, este, pick me up at home around four o'clock. That's correct. Okay. Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? That is correct. Thank you, Wendy. Very good. You just, uh, uh, in this case, you just uh, deliver the message with a request. Okay. Very good. So would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? That is good. What about number three? It says, Eva, the concert on Saturday is canceled. Is this a statement? or a request, who knows? Raise your hand. Carla Abigail, and then Braulio goes for number four. It's a statement. It's a statement, okay. So what, uh, can, can you deliver the message, please? Uh, please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Correct, please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Alternatively, you can say, please tell Eva that, the concert on Saturday is canceled. So, correct. Thank you very much, Carla. Number four, Braulio. You have Jim, bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight. Is this a statement or a request? Um, is the request, teacher? It's a request, okay? Yeah, correct. Very good. It's a request. So, um, what is this? Uh, what is the? Um, what's the message? Sorry, um, sorry. Is the word? Uh, 
you ask bring the ticket for the hockey game okay you say will you ask who jim aha uh -huh. would you ask jim Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, bring the ticket okay one thing is when you use the verb ask you have to use to also similar to number two would you ask mitch to pick me up at home around four. So, will you ask uh, Jim? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's okay. Uh, sorry, uh, will you ask Jim bring to the ticket for the hockey? You don't say bring to, but uh, first to and then the verb. Okay, would you ask Jim? Uh, ask? Okay. To uh, bring. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Little by little, let's take a look. You say, would you ask Jim and then? Bring two. To bring. Mm -hmm. To bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight. Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? That is correct. Okay, thank you, Braulio. Okay. Number thank five, you, you're welcome. Saul Alexander. And the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning. Is this a statement or a request? I think it's a statement, teacher. It's a statement because it's just a piece of information. So um, what is the message using wood? Would you, would you please tell uh, the museum open at 10? At 10 tomorrow, tomorrow, morning. Morning. tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. OK, yeah. Would you tell, or would you please, if you want to be more polite, would you tell Anne the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Alternatively, you can say, would you tell Anne that the museum opens at 10 yeah. tomorrow morning? Correct. Thank you very much, Saul. Very good. And number six, the last one. Who wants to participate? Very good job, by the way, everybody. You're, you're doing a good job here. So uh, number six. Number six, come on. Braulio, okay, number six, you have Jerry, meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Is this a statement or a request? It is a statement, teacher. Mm -mm. It's not a statement. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is the us. Uh, mm. statement or request you say request it's a request porque está pidiéndole algo when when you um let's say uh when it's a statement you are delivering only information for example the movie is at seven that's a statement it's only information the concert on saturday is canceled that's a statement because it's only information the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning. It's a statement because it's only information. But then when you want something from a different person, then you have a request. For example, pick me up at home around four. This is like a favor. It's a request. Bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight. Another request. Meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. That's a request. So, uh, yes, Braulio. Teacher, sorry. It's okay, don't uh, worry. Is the, please, please, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Remember the verb. Uh, sorry, please. sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, would you ask? Mm, no, well, no. Please, uh -huh. do ask? Not exactly. Oh, uh, please tell Jerry. Normally, um, you can use tell, but, but there is another verb that is more common. Tell is more for statements, and the other verb is for requests. Maybe, maybe Wendy can help us. Okay, Wendy? Uh, please ask Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Uh, 
Okay, okay. yeah. Please ask Jerry, yeah, to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Okay, there you go. So you use ask. If you notice, right, every time you use, uh, you're, you're giving a message with a statement, you use the verb tell. Every time you're giving a message with a request, you use the verb ask. Marina. Teacher, ya vine. Ah, hi. <laughs> okay, Marina Esmeralda. Let me find you in the list. Okay, here. Thank you. ¿Alguien más que ya haya venido, que no lo haya mencionado en la lista? Yo, teacher, Esmeralda Isabel. Esmeralda, okay. Thank you. Anyone else? ¿Alguien más? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. A mí no me mencionó. ¿Cómo no? La mencioné. <laughs> en serio. La mencioné. Sí, la mencioné. <laughs> Ahí va a ver la grabación, ahí va a ver la grabación, va a ver qué cierto. Okay. But, pero ya, ya le tomé su asistencia, no se preocupe. Ok, ok. okay. All right, um, let's continue. Now, what are we going to do? Extra practice, ok? Some extra practice, because I, I believe we need a little bit more. Ok, so what are we going to do? Take a look. This is extra, ok? This is not in the manual. So read these messages. What did the caller say? Write the messages another way using tell or ask. Now, for Miss Tem, Miss Tem, the message is, the meeting is at 10.30. That's a statement. That's why you have, please tell Miss Tem that the meeting is at 10.30. Bring the facts from New York. That's a request, okay? Therefore, you say, could you ask Miss Tem to bring the facts from New York? Okay, what about number two? Now I need a volunteer for Mr. Alvarez message. We need the report by noon. Call Miss James as soon as possible. You have to tell me the two. One is a statement and the other one is a request. So, Saul. Um. Okay, um, ask James. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we need a report by, no, call Mr. James. No, come on. Uh, we have two sentences. The first one is, we need the report by noon, the statement. And yeah. then you, you will complete the first line with uh, the message with a statement. And then the second sentence is call Miss James as soon as possible. That's a request. So you need to complete the second space with a message with a request. Okay. Mm -hmm. As, as, uh, as Miss James. Hmm? No. Ask me, James. Okay, uh, so um, we need a report by by. Mm -hmm. so, so, what verb do you use when you are delivering a message with a statement? Do you use tell or ask? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. We begin there. The statement is, is tell Aha, James. Okay. Just tell, tell me, Miss, Mrs. James. Mrs. James. Mm. Okay, tell Mrs. James. Uh, we need the report by noon. Actually, this is because the message is for Mr. Alvarez, not for, for okay, Mrs. James. Okay, Mr. Alvarez. Yeah, Aha. yeah, exactly. Aha. Aha. Yeah. Uh, could you please? No. Could you please tell Miss Mr. Alvarez? Mm -hmm. We need the report by, by noon. Could you tell, could you please tell Mr. Alvarez we need the report by noon? You can say that. You can say that totally. I have a, a, a simpler version is please tell Mr. Alvarez that we need the report by noon. But what you told me is correct. Remember that there are like three ways of doing this. If we go back. Yeah. 
you can use the three forms. So your form is also correct, okay? The problem is I cannot use the three because I don't have enough space. So um, you have that. Please tell Mr. Alvarez that we need the report by noon. Now you have the second one. Call Miss James as soon as possible. Now that's a request. What can you say right yeah. here? Please ask, please ask Mr. James. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a. Normally, when you use need, ask, we need a report as soon as is possible. Okay. Normally, when you use ask, you have to use another word. Yeah. Uh -huh. What please, is it? Please ask Mr. James. Mm -mm. We need please. a report please as soon as possible. Okay, so you will say, please ask who? Miss James. Mm -mm. You, you need to ask. No, Mr. Mr. Uh, yeah, Mr. Alvarez. Because the message is for Mr. Alvarez. So please yeah, ask we Mr. Need Alvarez. A report. No, no. Uh, no, call Mr. James as soon as possible. Okay, good. But you're still missing one word. Falta una palabra ahí. Let's see. Maybe Luis Fernando can help us. Okay, Luis oh. Fernando, what about this one? Okay. Uh, that we need for by noon. Uh, will you, you tell Miss James call me as soon as possible? But this is a request, so we don't use tell. We have to use a different verb. Uh, Sa Saul almost had it, but one word was missing. Faltaba una palabrita ahí. Okay, so. Uh, 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 cool. It's, cool. it's you, ask. Uh, uh, would you please tell Mr. Alvarez? Alvarez um, mm, it's a request. Need, so don't you, don't you, that. Okay, the, the first one is. Oh, it, okay, ask. we have we have the first one. Please tell Mr. Alvarez that we need the report by noon. Okay, we're done with that one. But now the second one. Call Miss James as soon as possible. So. Ask Mr. Alvarez. Uh huh. Uh, as Mr. Alvarez called Miss James as soon as is possible. One word is missing. Let's see what Braulio can tell us. Uh, is, could you ask Mr. Alvarez to show is possible? Um, the verb is missing right there. Oh, uh, is the... Uh, is this song? No. Mm, probably not. Okay, Luis Fernando. Y vamos, participemos todos, siempre los mismos. Están participando. Vamos. Okay, Luis Fernando. Um, okay. Um, Luis? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, I, I think because I need to understand that you... Uh, you say that, that it's not a, a, a question, right? It's a request. It's a request. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay. Maybe Marina can tell us. Well, I would try. Okay. Please tell Mr. Love that the new laptop is ready. Oh, but that's number three. We're still in number two. Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. Uh -huh. Okay. Would you tell Miss uh, Miss Alvarez that we need the report by noon? Okay, that's that's the first one. But what about the second one? Call Miss Miss James as soon as possible. Ah. It's a request. Uh, will you ask, Mr. Uh, will you ask 
Mr. Alvarez can call Mr. Games as soon as possible? Mm, no, a bit different. Let's <laughs> let's hear <laughs> Wendy. Let's it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're learning. Okay, Wendy. Uh, would you ask Mr. Alvarez to to need a report? No, no, no. To call Mr. James as soon as possible. Okay. Could you ask Mr. Alvarez to call Miss James as soon as possible? La clave es esta. Fíjense bien. Cuando ustedes identifiquen que es un statement, entonces utilicen el verbo tell y el mensaje. Please tell Mr. Alvarez y luego el mensaje that we need the report by now. Pero si es un request, van a necesitar el verbo ask. Y el verbo que sigue va a ser precedido por to. Ask a person to do something. Esa palabra es clave ahí. To. Ok. Ok, por acá nos comunican que Marielos no se puede conectar. Va a entrar en unos minutos. Ok, thank you for letting me know. Uh, Braulio. Teacher, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, the usual verb is the present continuous. Present continuous. No, we are not using the present continuous. Is the ah me cuesta, sí, lo siento. Es que yo quiero saber si el verbo es, o sea, en forma normal, o sea, como que estuviéramos sí. ocupando lo del tú siempre. Así es, forma base. Uh, mm -hmm. so, thank, thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, number three, Miss Lowy. Okay, what about Miss Lowy? By the way, made a mistake here. Okay, so Miss Lowy, the message is the new laptop is ready. That's a statement. Pick it up this afternoon. That's a request. So following the examples, what about what is the answer to number three? Please, Fernando. Uh, please tell Miss Low uh, that. The new laptop is ready. Okay, please tell Miss Lowy that the new laptop is ready. Okay, you have that. Very good. And what about the second one? Who can help us? Vamos. Eh, eh, les agradezco mucho a los que participan, pero veo solo participan Braulio, Saúl, Wendy, Luis Fernando, y me están participando por acá también. Está viendo. Se me perdieron acá. Ok, pero siempre son los mismos. Les invito a los demás que hagan el intento también, que hagamos el, el que tengamos ahí el ánimo de hacerlo. Sé que ya es tardecito, que estamos cansados, ya a las nueve de la noche uno ya no quiere estar haciendo nada más, pero les invito a que también se animen a participar, ¿de acuerdo? Que no sean siempre los mismos los que, los que, los que participan. Ok. Ah, los María los dice presente. Okay, give me a moment as I take the attendance. Ruth Marielos presente. Luz Clara. También. Okay, Luz Clara ya está presente también. Okay, gracias por notificar. Okay, uh, Saúl Alexander. Pick it up this afternoon. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, could you ask me is low? Pick it up this to pick it up this afternoon. No, to pick it up this afternoon, the new laptop. Could you ask her or could you ask Miss Lowey to pick it up this afternoon? Okay, good. Okay, there you go. All right. Lesson objective. Let's do this. This reading exercise will help you develop skills. Uh, Teacher. Yes. Who's calling me? Teacher. Can you can you explain again the 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 two sentences and request and the and the other one because I don't understand. Okay, let's take a look. O, only one is fine. Okay, let's take a look. When when you have a statement and when you have a request, there are two different things. A statement is only a piece of information. That's all it is. A statement is information. You say the meeting is on Friday. Other examples of statements include. The movie is at seven. The concert on Saturday is canceled. 
the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning. Th th these are pieces of information on. So when that happens, you have to use the verb tell, okay? To uh, deliver the message. So the messages with the statement include, please tell N that, and then the piece of information, the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her or could you tell N that the meeting is on Friday? And will you tell her or would you tell N that the meeting is on Friday? In all of them, you use tell because you're only transmitting a piece of information. That is a message with the statement. But then you have a request. When you need something like a favor, for example, or when you give someone an order, for example, if you are the boss of somebody and you give that person an order, then you have to use a request. The request usually is in imperative form. Call me this afternoon. Bring the tickets. Do your homework. Open the book. Okay? Do the exercise, etc. Some other examples of requests include pick me up at home around four. Es como una orden, como un, una petición. Okay, uh, bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight. Meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. So when you have a request, you have to use the verb ask. You ask a person to do something. That's very important. You ask a person and then you need to use to. Ask a person to do something. Example, call me this afternoon. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? That's the idea, right? Remember, when you have a statement, use the verb tell. And when you have a request, use the verb ask. And you need to use to before the next verb. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I understand right now. Thank okay, you. great. You're welcome. Okay, so um, let's continue because we don't have much time. I prepared a lot of exercises for this class, <laughs> but I guess we won't have time to do them. So uh, this reading exercise will help you develop skills in summarizing and recognizing points of view. Should be points, not point. Okay, let me correct that. Points of view. Uh, este ejercicio de lectura le ayudará a desarrollar habilidades para resumir y reconocer puntos de vista. That's a lesson objective 5.10. So, there's cell phone etiquette. Okay, even to use a cell phone, we need some etiquette rules. So, uh, take a look at this. I'm going to read the first paragraph, or I'm going to read the first two paragraphs, and then I will ask for volunteers to read, you know, the etiquette rules. So, uh, take a look. If you see the picture, right? Some people are in a restaurant, and there's this guy speaking on the phone. And apparently, he's being very annoying. So, what do you do? in a situation like this. Uh, Luz Clara, dígame. Ah, quieren leer. <laughs> okay, me, me ayudan con, me ayudan con, los, con las reglas de acá, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos, okay. poquito, tenemos poquito tiempo y tenemos que verlo del examen también. So, okay, so what do you do in a situation like this? You're eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. You're having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Then many people find cell phone useful in their day-to-day -day lives. But we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly on the phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. So Luz Clara is going to help me read the first one, Wendy Lisette the second one, Marina Esmeralda number three, and uh, Luz, uh, Saul Alexander number four, please. Luz Clara, the first one. Okay, of means of respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a scene says, turn off cell phones, don't use your phone. Okay, thank you. Off means off. 
okay? Respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign, letrero, if a sign says, turn off cell phones, don't use your phone. Have you seen at churches, okay? They, they usually have signs and they say like, turn off your phone, okay? People don't care. All right, Wendy Lisette, the second one, please. Teacher, the yes. pronunciation, private? Private. Private, mm -hmm. okay. Keep private conversation private. And speak softly and for a short time. Try to move away from other people. Yes, okay, thank you. Keep private conversations private. Speak softly and for a short time, right? Try to move away from other people. If, if you have a, a, a conversation that is private, we don't want to know, right? I mean, you just have to walk away and have your private conversation in private. That's the idea. Marina Esmeralda, can you help me with the next one? Ya me está manchando la pantalla. Usted no me mancha la pantalla. Bye. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, please. Lights off, fun off. Never take calls in a theater, in a, in a theater or at the movie. Thank you. Lights off, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Maybe when you go to the movies and you're watching the movie and the person sitting in front of you takes out the phone, you see the light. It's very annoying. Okay, I don't like that. Thank you, Marina. Saul Alexander, the fourth one, please. Hey, teacher. <clears throat> Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're talking, when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. Yeah, thank you. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. Sometimes people are distracted talking and they don't see where they're going. As more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. And that's the reading. Now we have some exercises. <laughs> this is not supposed to be there. Okay, now uh, let me save. What are we going to do? Check the statements the writer will probably agree with. Okay, uh, the first one, you should never use a cell phone in public. Number two, cell phone users are very rude people. Number three, turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Number four, you should challenge people who talk too loudly on cell phones. Number five, it's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car. Number six, you can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. Number seven, don't shout into the phone. It's like, hey, speaking loudly. And number eight, don't stand close to other people when you're using a cell phone. So uh, you have to tell me which statements the writer will probably agree with. Marina Esmeralda, the first one, please. Um, let's see. Aha, tell me, tell me one that uh, that is true according to the article. Okay. Turn off your cell phone if someone asks to you. Correct. Okay. Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Correct. Very good. Thank you. Saul Alexander, the next one. Your microphone is off. You can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. You can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. Correct. Very good. Thank you. Luz Clara, num uh, the next one. Thank you. I see that number. Uh -huh. your, your microphone. Um, don't stand close to other people when you are using a cell phone. That is correct. Don't stand close to other people when you're using a cell phone. Very good. There is one more. Who can help us with this one? Marina Esmeralda. Falta una, teacher. Yes, there's one. 
One more. Ella dijo, don't stay close to other people when you are using a cell phone, yeah? Okay, but Luz Clara told us that one. Ah, es que como no le puso el chequecito, yo por eso decía. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh, sorry. Okay. Just the order right. of animations. Mm -hmm. So, um... No, creo que es la, la cuatro. You should change people who talk too loudly on the cell phone. You should challenge people who talk too loudly on cell phones. Um, not really. No, that's uh -huh. not that's not mentioned in the article, but thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh-huh. No, no, please tell us. Don't shoot into the, the phone. Don't no, shout, no. don't shout into the phone. Don't no grite. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Don't shout into the phone. Correct. Okay. And Luz Clara told us number eight. Don't stand close to other people when you're using a cell phone. That's correct. Those are the answers right there. Very good, people. Very good. Okay, it's 9:49. Wow. Wow, so fast. Uh, we're going to skip this part because I have more exercises, but we won't have time to do them. So instead, we're going directly into the final exam. So this is the exam, final exam. Oh man, but the listening part, uh, just let me, I don't have the file. Just let me find it here very quickly. Sorry, I forgot this part. I'm just going to download the, the audio file for you so I can play it. And uh, where is it? Give me a moment, please. Just a second. Okay, there it is. I'm just going to eliminate the animation and we're done. Okay, so listen to the conversations. So um, instructions, listen to two telephone conversations, check the correct information. West invitation, is it a beach party, birthday party, dinner in the restaurant or go swimming? And what is West's excuse? Amy and Terry are going to be there. He doesn't like going to the theater. He starts work at 6 p.m. or none of the above. Let's listen to it and then you tell me the answers. Oh, sorry. Wrong device. Uh, right here. Okay. Check. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Can you hear that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. One. Hello. Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. So what is uh, Wes's invitation? Miss Clara? Beach party. It's a beach party. And what is the excuse? He starts work at 6 p.m. Correct. Okay. All right. Let's listen to the second conversation. Thank you. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay, uh, Wendy Lisette. What's, uh, what about Rita? 
dance performance. Dance performance. And the excuse? She needs to study for a test. She needs to study for a test. That's correct. Okay, that's the listening part for you. Part B, put the words in the correct order. Okay, so uh, instructions, complete the conversations, use the correct form of the verbs, uh, read each one carefully so you get an idea of the form of the verb you need to use. The first one, what do you, and then you have plan do tonight. What is it? Uh huh. Nadie sabe, no, no, no me han hecho el examen, no me digan que no me han hecho el examen. Ok, Marina Esmeralda. Yo sí lo hice, yo ya lo he hecho, pero me he olvidado, pero creo que es. Ok. What do you doing, what do, what do you doing plan tonight? Mm, no, no, sorry, sorry, it's different. Saúl, and then Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos me da miedo, me, no me vaya a estrellar ahí, Juan Carlos, cuidado. Ajá, ok, no Saúl. No voy manejando todavía, teacher, estoy ah, parqueado. Va. Está parqueado, está bueno. Ok, so, uh, Saúl, and then Juan Carlos, and then Claudia María. Um, what do you, what are you? What do you? Do you have it? Do you? No le escuché. What no do le you escuché. planning? What are you planning? Mm, not really. What Thank are you. you planning? No, <laughs> sorry. No, I don't really. remember this, but I did. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe Juan Carlos can help us. The demand mantenga su manita arriba, por favor, para que les llegue su turno. Letter B. No, no, letter A. Letter A. What do you do plan to do tonight? What do you what do, do you plan? Do? What do you do plan to do? Mm, no, do not exactly. Tonight? You have you have the idea, but what do you? Yep. What do you do plan to do tonight? Too many words. Muchas palabras ahí, demasiadas. Let's see, uh, Claudia Maria. What? Oh, teacher, I think I got. What do you do? Oh, okay, okay, but it, it, it's, it's, it's Claudia's turn. Okay, let's listen to Claudia. Okay. Plan to do, teacher. What do you plan to do tonight? Okay, what do you plan to do? Okay, thank you, Claudia. Uh, Marina Esmeralda, B. Oh, I see. Okay. I want to stay home. There's a soccer match on TV. Yeah, I want to stay home, correct. Carla Abigail, number two, 2A. What are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? What are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? Correct. Damaris Isabel. Hi, teacher. Little B? Yeah, 2B. Um, we would like to have. We would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. So you can use the contracted form, we'd like to have, or the full form, we would like to have. Okay, good. Thank you, Damaris. Juan Carlos, number 3A. Ay, no baje la mano, pero bueno. Eh, ¿Cuál es? Number 3A. Me olvidé subir no, la mano, por eso le, le, le di la palabra. What do you do, how to do? De nuevo, muchas palabras, está ocupando ahí. Sería, what, what to do? Mm, what do very... you do, how to do? Mm, no, I'm sorry, Juan Carlos. But thank you, thank you sorry. for your, it's okay, don't worry. Thank you for your participation. Let's hear Wendy, Wendy. And then Luz Clara, and then Catherine, and then Claudia. What do you, what do you hope doing after graduation? Hope doing? No, it's not hope doing. 
It's a different form. But thank you for your participation. Luz Clara. What do you hope to do after graduation? What do you hope to do after graduation? Okay, all right, that's correct. Thank you. Catherine Jasmine, Guatemala, Arias. 3B. <laughs> Um, I would love to travel in Europa. Europe. 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 Europe for mm -hmm. a while. I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Okay, correct. You can use the contracted form or the full form. I'd love to travel to Europe in, in Europe for a while, or I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Thank you. Okay, Catherine. Uh, Isabel will help us with the next one. Circle the correct words. That's exercise C. There are lots of beautiful trees in this. Mosquitoes. Isabel? Um, forest. In this forest. That's correct. Thank you very much. Claudia, number two. Desert. A desert is a very hot and dry place. Correct. Luz Clara, number three. Mountain. A mountain is always higher than a valley. That's correct. Thank you. Catherine, number for the next one, please. Microphone. It's okay. Uh, please tell Mary there's a, a school party on Sunday. Yeah, please tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday. That's correct. Thank you, Catherine. Marina, number two. Um, would you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? Correct. Would you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? Very good. Remember, ask someone to do something, okay? Wendy, number three. Would you ask Dana that the movie start at a 15? Is this a statement or a request? It is request. It's a statement. It's a statement because it's a piece of information. The movie starts at yeah. 15. So what's the correct verb? Um, could you tell? Yes. Uh, could you tell Dana? Sorry, teacher. It's okay. Don't worry. Could you tell uh, Dana that the movie starts at 8.15? Very good. Exercise D. Okay. Complete the sentences. Complete the conversations with would, will, I, which is I will or I'll, which is I will. So number one, volunteer, please. Carla. Uh, what would you like to eat? The fried chicken, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, that's correct. Luz Clara, number two. No, what kind of potato would you like? I will have the, what is the correct pronunciation of this word, teacher? Mashed. <laughs> Sorry? Mashed. How much? I will have the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's correct. I'll have the mashed potatoes. Thank you. Catherine Jasmine. Right. Anything to drink? Yes, please. I'd like some water. I'd like some water, which is, I would like some water. Correct. Thank you, Catherine. And the last one, please, volunteers. Isabel, anything else? Anything else? No, that will be all. That will be all. Okay, that's correct. Thank you, Isabel. Okay, and the second part of exercise D, complete each sentence with the correct form of the adjective, choose between comparative or superlative. Comparative or superlative. So which city is, volunteer please. Saul, and then Claudia. Which city is? 
more crowded. Which city is more crowded? Buenos Aires or Lima? Okay, correct. Very good. Claudia Maria, number two, please. Is most too famous. Is, is Disney no. World, uh, again, please, is Disney World? Most too famous. Most too famous. Mm, mm -hmm. No, nah, not really. It's a bit no. different, but, but thank you Most for participating. <laughs> it's, it's a bit different. Okay, but thank you for participating. Who knows this one? Who can help us? Carla. Is Disney World the most famous uh, amusement. amusement park in the world? Yeah. Is Disney World the most famous amusement park in the world? Okay, good. Thank you very much. What about number three? So, Seoul. Where is the longer river in the world? Mm, the Amazon, the Danube, or the Nile? You have three options. So, what is? What is the longest? The longest. Okay, superlative. What is the longest river in the world? Okay, good. By the way, <laughs> I have that right there. So, um, What's next? Complete the requests, instructions, and this is the penultimate exercise. Look at each message, complete the request, placing the name in parentheses in its correct position. Remember capital letters, question marks, and periods where necessary. So the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Wendy. And the test on Thursday. Please tell, can the test on Thursday, teacher? Um, please tell Ken that the test is on Thursday at 1 p.m. Okay, all that is the, the information. Okay, it's a statement. Please tell Ken. Aquí aparece incompleto porque solamente hay que rellenar con la información que falta. ¿verdad? No pongan la oración entera. So please tell Ken that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Catherine, number two. Meet me after class today. Request. Alex to meet me after class today. Would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? Uh -huh. Would you ask Alex? Thank you, Catherine. Number three. Saul, there's a volleyball game tonight. Leamoslo con la, la, la pregunta completa. Uh -huh. Um. Could you tell, could you tell Marcus there's a volleyball game tonight? Correct. Could you tell Marcus there's a volleyball game tonight? Very good. And Carla, number four, come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask Paula to come to the picnic on Saturday. Correct. Please ask Paula to come to the picnic on Saturday. Very good. Final exercise, the big island. I'm going to read it quickly. Everyone knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state? Yes, it's confusing. So most people call the island of Hawaii the big island. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the 15 kinds of climates in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, and alpine. Sometimes it gets even it even gets snow on top of its two biggest volcanoes. On the west side of the island, the weather is sunny. Kaila Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. It only gets down to 64 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 69 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. The Kohala area in the north is the driest part of the island with only about 10 inches of rain per year. On the east side, Hilo gets around 140 inches of rain per year. It's the wettest city in the United States. All that rain makes for some amazing waterfalls near Hilo. Water temperatures are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling 
great scuba diving and wonderful fishing year round. That makes the Big Island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. So that's the uh, text. Let's check the answer. So number one, Luz Clara, what is Hawaii? Luz Clara de la O. Micrófono. Carla Abigail. A state and an, an island. It's a state and an island. Correct. Okay, thank you. Braulio, number two, what climate is not found in Hawaii? Is the number, um, sorry, number is the Arctic. Arctic, uh -huh. correct. The Arctic. Correct, Arctic. Okay, thank you. Wendy Lisette, how hot does it get in Cayula Kona in the winter? 80, teacher. 80 degrees, okay, thank you. And Catherine Jasmine, where does it rain the most? In the east. In the east, that is correct. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are finished. okay? Just let me take attendance one more time and then we finish the class. Um, let's see, Jaime Adonai, está por acá, Jaime Adonai, Durán Hércules. Adonai se perdió los últimos días. Ok, um, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. And we have also Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Is Rebecca here online with us? I don't think so. Okay. Bueno, damas y caballeros, con eso terminamos, bueno, damos por concluido este nivel. Les agradezco a todos por su puntualidad, por su perseverancia, ¿verdad? Yo sé que no es fácil estar aquí a las nueve de la noche. Creo que estamos un poquito cansados todos, a veces se nos nota. Eh, y es lo más normal del mundo. Pero les agradezco, ¿verdad?, por su dedicación, por el empeño que le han puesto a este nivel y por haber hecho todo lo posible por estar presente en cada una de las clases, ¿verdad? Uh, ha sido un gusto, ha sido un gusto. Solamente me queda decirles que, pues, espero nuevamente servirles en un futuro si se da la oportunidad y hacerles la invitación Siempre les voy a hacer la invitación que participen, ¿verdad? Participen, participen, porque esa es la forma en la que vamos aprendiendo. Ok. Así que, thank you very much once again and uh, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Take teacher. Care. Gracias, teacher. Good night. Con Gracias. Era ver compartir. Okay.